if they got a big vision and it's definitely enough plus point, which is not just the brand, they also have a lot of bankers who loan them a lot of money. So like Jim Chan just now said, right, they owe a lot of money. You think it's their money, man. It's the bank's money, man. So the bank already loaned them so much money and they want to see them doing better. What do they do? Gave them more money, law, loan them more money. So I believe Marsing will definitely have much more capacity to borrow money to move into the right business. If they were to borrow money to go into property development, I don't think that is going to be possible for them. But they're borrowing money and they can show letter intention, uh, intent from the uh, customers. They will be able to get loans to build this because they existingly have still cash and still have business. So I don't think they have any issue for them. And those are the plus points that they have compared to rubber racks. But of course, rubber racks also being at the size that they are, they would then be able to grow. Why? All you need to do is go to the bank and show that what? I've got business. I've got customers. These are all my sales orders. These are all my purchase orders. Give me this money to build my, build my factories, right? So I think when this market coming to the market, as I say, I don't think it's going to be a short term. If you want to be short term to go ring and make some money, you can. But if you're thinking about making it the meat to short term, like six months down the road, definitely a no-no. All the technicals right now looks good, but I think all the technicals will turn around in four to five days time. So it all depends on the business earnings at the end of the day, because what pushed the business up at the end of the day is the earnings of the company. If they don't have the kind of earnings, it's not going to push the share prices up. What happens when it's pushed up, it's going to be pushed down very quickly.